Jimmy um, understood in his gut from the very beginning what we've tried to incorporate into the DNA of HBO, which is the sacredness of talent, the sacredness of the artist. And back in the mid-90s, when uh, Time Warner still owned the music company, there was a tremendous political brouhaha that occurred over Interscope and some of the music that was coming out of Interscope. And my boss at the time was uh, the chairman of both HBO and the chairman of the music company, so I was kind of traversing back and forth in my brief uh, four months in the music business. And I came to see Jimmy. And I said, who well, I knew a little bit, and I said to Jimmy, um, Jimmy, do they have to say fuck the police? I mean, is, it, can they say damn the police? Can they say I hate the police? Is there another way for us to do this? Because everybody at, at corporate is going crazy. And he, he looked at me and he said, look, and he, we're sitting at the end of a table and he said, I'm, I'm out on the edge with my artists all the time, and that's where I need to be. And the second they see me climbing safely back on to the surface, it's over. And you have to understand that if you're gonna work with talent, and you're gonna evolve talent, and you're gonna become a company that cares about talent. I never forgot it. Um, it has stuck with me, and I think informs uh, all of our collective wisdom at HBO uh, about managing talent. It's, it's a true story, and, and I learned it from this guy.